Yes, we're back. We're back again for another tour. And this time, a bit more than a tour. This time, I'm going to show you uh, not only my gaming setup, not only my gaming room, but also all my old tech and stuff like this. Uh, my two old Macs uh, sat outside a bookcase, sat outside where it all happens. And apologies for the flicker. Uh, yes, my gaming room. Let's step straight in then uh, and start round here uh, with my gaming chair. Uh, GT Omega racing chair, something I've been sat in and uh, quite comfortable in uh, for the last number of years. Uh, brilliant chair, can highly, highly recommend it. Moving around the back here then, the old Xbox One, uh, day one edition. Uh, I've had that for quite some time. Uh, Use that for streaming uh, Forza Horizon 4. Um, I haven't tidied up the wires, I will warn you. Up here, uh, behind the Xbox One, is my old uh, gaming PC, uh, is now the streaming PC and uh, a few wires. Um, that's what pushes the streams out that you see. Moving around the front then to the action. So, sat by the side of me, 27 inch monitors, all of them. This one I have here for uh, Discord only, which all fits. Monitor to the left there, hanging on a bracket on the wall with webcam above. Main gaming monitor, which is a 4K um, Samsung monitor, that sits there. Monitor round to my right, uh, another 27 inch uh, monitor. And above me, have a 40 inch TV. Over to the side here then, uh, have all my Xbox 360, Xbox One, uh, PS4 and Wii U games. Moving down to some of the tech I use, let me kneel down. Joystick wise, uh, Hotas Warthog uh, joystick, that's what I use, that stays in its position there. Mouse there to the left is the one that controls the streaming PC, so that I use in my left hand, a uh, bottle of orange there that I drink. Keyboard up there is the one that controls the streaming PC, and the little amplifier there is the one that controls the speakers. Uh, one of which is up there. So anything I play for the mixing desk, I can actually put through the speakers and actually have out coming out as audio. In front of the uh, keyboard then is my slightly dusty, but not too bad, uh, button box. One of the best things I've purchased is that. Links by USB. So I've got toggle switches and number of buttons. So that sits uh, by my left hand. So left hand can sit on there. So when I'm gaming, uh, I've got the joystick here in my left hand button box in my left hand and also another fantastic thing that I purchased is a gaming keypad so that sits here again in my left hand so left hand can move between the button box gaming keypad and that has basically got uh, QWERTY keys on and F1 keys and keys 1 to 6 so anything I'm doing with WAS and D I use here F1 to 6 buttons 1 to 5 etc I use there behind that uh, another bit of kit that, again, I wouldn't be without uh, my stream deck. That links to the streaming PC. So I use that to start and stop the stream, uh, add in the next of kin card, etc. Um, really, really brilliant bit of kit. There we've got the remote control for the TV on the wall. Moving along then, uh, we've got a clock here and uh, some of my flight sim stuff. So uh, um, switch panel there for flight sim, autopilot panel there for the flight sim, my main keyboard, uh, Rockat uh, Isku keyboard, which um, I've said before, in, in the past, I can't reach it. It's because it's sat behind the G27. So that's why I have to lean over and it's partly tucked under the shelf. So I can't actually re reach it. Clock on the top. Mouse down here, uh, brilliant Logitech gaming mouse. And again, uh, haven't got a lot of room. So there's the G27 and the side of it. That's all the space I've got for my mouse. Not a lot of room. So the mouse has got to operate in this space because to the right is the joystick for the G27, joystick gear stick for the G27. To the right of that is the throttle quadrant that I use for flying. So all my flight stuff stays where it is. Above then is uh, the mixing desk. So that's where all my audio comes in and out. And you actually see it now if I tap the microphone. It goes live. So first slider is me. Second slider is my Amazon uh, device, which I'll show you in a second. Third slider is uh, Discord voice. Fourth slider is music. If we're playing music, 
uh, through uh, for trucking on a Friday night. That comes through that one. Fifth slider is uh, the audio from the streaming PC. So when we get the announcements, people have switched, subscribed, etc. That comes through that one, which is the one I forget to turn up. That is the gaming PC output. That is the sound effects. So when I add the echo in for firm bus, etc., that's there. That's monitor out, which I don't use. And that's the main audio out. Headphone control is there. That's tape input. So that's where the Xbox comes into and then various knobs and stuff to control that lot. Recent addition though, to sort my audio out, because I speak through the uh, microphone, which is XLR, that goes down here, is this, uh, Focusrite Scarlet. Um, and again, my latest addition to the uh, setup. So the microphone comes into there, that goes out of there though, into this uh, audio compressor. Um, so that, amplifies my microphone um, and also levels it out. Also above there is the radio panel uh, for the flight sim stuff. So I come into that side of the compressor. Discord comes into this side of the compressor. So again, I can level out Discord audio coming in. On top is an old all-in-one PC that I've never quite got rid of. Down below, so there's the throttle quadrants. There's the gear stick. We've got a couple of USB powered hubs, one there and one there. I said I haven't tidied the wires, as you can see. Under the desk then is the Amazon device um, that is connected to the uh, audio mixer, a box of Jelly Babies. Uh, notepad then, I'm writing down what I'm doing stream-wise and when's going next. A uh, little iPad mini that I occasionally use to search stuff uh, if I can't get out of a game. And notepad uh, instructions on how to start the TOLIS. Hmm, not use them much. Down below, Got a fan under the desk, rudder pedals, um, G27 pedals, the PC surrounded by a lot of wires, network switch up on the top, and uh, a lot of wires uh, coming in, out, and around. So if you don't like wires, that's probably not a pleasant sight. In the cupboard here, I've got a load of uh, old Xbox controllers and stuff like that. Headphones that I currently use, well, I've got a new pair turning up today. Uh, old pair of Rockat headphones with the track IR on the side of it. Again, apologies for the flicker. Um, there's the uh, little Xbox controller that I use on top of a little table here that occasionally store snacks and supplies on. Got a lamp here um, to keep that lot illuminated so when it's dark. Uh, cap up here with the uh, alternative to the track IR sensor on it. So if I want to play game audio through the room, I put that on and rather having to listen to it through headphones. Down here is an old, very old Dell PC. And below that is my really, really old uh, gaming PC. And then the unit in the corner, uh, I've got a dry white board. I occasionally write down ideas for videos and things. Box of HyperX headphones that are downstairs and some uh, pop vinyl uh, figurine boxes. And that's it, that's the gaming room. So that's where I spend all my time. Next though, we move on to the bedroom. So a quick one then, next to the bed, uh, I've got uh, Apple Watch charger, a couple, of, uh, a couple of watches, another Amazon Echo Dot, another iPad mini, because you, know, you need to search stuff when you're in bed, and remote controls for the Fire TV and the TV. Also in the bedroom though, uh, I keep uh, some other kit. So this is where the internet comes in. So because this is the front of the house now, internet comes in here through the front. So I've got one cable that runs around the outside of this room into the gaming room, which is next door. So that's the main internet coming in. That's my NAS box and the box to the uh, new phone that I'm recording this on, uh, my iPhone 11 Pro Max, Max Pro, one of those. Uh, Apple TV is here. Printer is here that I never use. Uh, Amazon Fire TV is there, that's connected to the TV. Uh, another internet um, uh, router uh, that all my Amazon devices are connected to. And then on the shelves above, boxes. Um, right, keep the boxes for all my kit. So the Apple shelf is here with Apple TVs, um, iPad, iPad minis, uh, MacBook Air, Apple Watch, uh, another iPad, some of my little iPods boxes. Uh, and some of the old phone boxes are there. Uh, Amazon shelf has got Echo Shows, Echo Dots, Fire TVs, a Steam Link. Yeah, I bought one. 
uh, Gamps, Samsung Galaxy Tab boxes, a Scarlet Pro, BlackBerry Playbook. Yeah, you'll see that downstairs and some Chromecast stuff. And then a shelf above, um, got uh, some the Flight Sim panel boxes and some Lego boxes. TV I use in the bedroom is uh, this, uh, which is a Hitachi 32 inch and then a clock radio on top. So that's the upstairs. Time to move downstairs. And here we are downstairs then. And this uh, the first of my new uh, acquisitions, some little earbuds, uh, cordless ones that uh, plug in and charge in the case, which I think are really cool. Uh, another Amazon device down here. This one playing in the in the kitchen. Round into living room then. And yes, it is my man cave. Uh, surround sound speaker sat up in the corner along with a plant that I don't think I've quite killed yet. Uh, over here, past the uh, solitaire, uh, to the first of my cabinets. And uh, at the top of it, yeah, pride of place, uh, my Sims and stuff um, board uh, made for me, uh, which I think is really, really cool. Uh, below that then, another prized uh, possession, uh, Boddington's truck, uh, which I really like as well. And then my collection of old phones. Uh, so yeah, all my old mobile phones that I had before I uh, ended up with an iPhone. And uh, a couple of these I really, really liked. Was a huge fan of uh, Sony Ericsson stuff. Uh, so yeah, all my old phones over there, including an old Dixon's calculator and uh, a mini disc player. Shelf below then, uh, an old Dell laptop, a uh, personal organizer, remember those? Uh, and my old rubber keyed Spectrum, my first digital camera, and another really old, I think that's a 386, uh, compact 386 or 486 uh, laptop. Down below to the games consoles, PS1, PlayStation 1, PS2, Wii U, and then uh, PS4 is there. And then the shelf below, Xbox 360, original Xbox, uh, PS3, and my normal Xbox 360. Over here, we've got another Amazon device, the Echo Show 5. Uh, sat on a bookcase with uh, some Lego on, because, you know, everyone needs it. Uh, and then my old, really old Sony Vio laptop. Yeah, I don't get rid of anything. On the shelf behind the sofa, uh, we've got some plain models, an old Toby Bitter uh, old pump uh, header uh, that illuminates. I must get it lit up one day. Uh, more plain models. Down to the side then is where I spend my time in the evenings. My uh, gaming laptop, uh, my, uh, I forgot what make it is now. Uh, median uh, eraser laptop really do like that thing so that's where i sit in the evenings around the back on this bookcase then uh, my old recently retired uh, iphone 8 and uh, remote controls for devices ipad air macbook air that's the uh, headphones uh, we saw the box for upstairs and my old uh, Samsung uh, Windows laptop. I keep that because that's the only device I've got now with a DVD player in it so I can rip music, etc. In the other cabinet here, we've got more tech. So a very really old uh, PowerBook uh, Apple laptop, uh, my old bridge camera and an Amazon dot that I electrocuted. Long story. And uh, a rather funky but really slow uh, Windows 10 uh, touchscreen netbook, I think you can call it. Um, it was purchased new for about 100 quid. I bought it for 50 quid. Um, and it, it, it's slow, but it's okay. Shelf below, an original Apple TV, Sony Media Player, a Samsung Galaxy Tab, a WD Player, a Fire Tablet, and uh, an original Apple TV, second gen, uh, Roku LT, um, that's the Blackberry Playbook um, that the box was upstairs. A Kindle that refuses to die. I think that's been unplugged for about two years now, but it's still alive. And a D-Link uh, media player. Shelf below, an old uh, Apple uh, G4, uh, a Mac Mini, and my first Apple computer. Yeah, I just can't get rid of anything. Around here, though, uh, my current uh, Apple iMac. Uh, sat in the corner with surround sound speaker above it and my favourite piece of artwork on the wall. Uh, a few of those pop figures are down here. Um, and uh, the Xbox One S that I use uh, when I'm downstairs to play Blu-rays, uh, to stream media, watch Netflix, etc. That sits there with the controllers being charged. Apple TV down here is connected up to this TV. 
Uh, everything linked through my Sony surround sound system. That's a subwoofer there uh, with speakers in each corner. All connected to my 48-inch uh, 4K uh, Toshiba TV with my, and no, they're not Christmas lights, around the bottom. Just over here is uh, my oldest uh, bit of kit, I think. An old Apple Macintosh um, sat there. It does work, um, but uh, don't power it up and uh, sat there with some Blu-rays, etc. underneath. Uh, the rest of my Blu-ray collection, if I can open the cabinet, is all tucked in there and in there. So everything tucked away quite nicely. So when I'm down here in the evenings, when I'm not uh, online or recording, my go-to position is pretty much this. TV, iMac, gaming pc sat right by the side of me so there we go hope you enjoyed the tour i'll probably do another one in another 12 months time when more things update uh, but until then if you have been thanks very very much for watching